students in this video we are going to see a problem based on even and odd parts of the signal so the problem is like this we are having one random signal x of t and we need to find out even and odd part of it so signal is like this So this is a signal given, we have to find out even part of it and odd part of it. Here is the solution. The first step we will do is a time reversal of x of t. So it will be like this. So to get accuracy, I use a scale. So this is origin x of 1 will be over here, and for t equal to 2, the point I marked over here, similarly for minus 1 and for minus 2 so this is x of minus t what we are supposed to do time reversal of x of t so we will get mirror image of x of t and that we call as x of minus t so we'll get something like this so mirror image of x of t is x of minus t we obtain then we know e1 part will be nothing but half of x of t plus x of minus t so our job is to get addition of x of t and x of minus t so see how we are going to add this Here we have a 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, and our y axis will be like this, which is nothing but x of t plus x of minus t. Now, how to add the two signals? You can see over here, it's a combination of a step function and a ramp function. So, step function means it will have a constant value irrespective of whatever the value of t. Whereas, ramp is having some slope. So, while adding the signals, we need to add the values in the case of unit step or step functions and in case of ramp signals we need to add the slopes of the signal so let's find out now one by one let's start with the zero instant so here for t equal to zero i'm having the value zero 
same is the value over here for x of minus t so 0 will get added with this 0 in the end i will get x of t plus x of minus t as 0 for t equal to 0 then from 0 to 1 this signal is having a slope equal to 1 this signal is also having the slope 1 so in the end if i add these two signals i will get slope as 2 so for 0 to 1 i should get slope as 2 for that y axis should reach the value equal to 2 because if i consider the slope 2 for instance 1 as a t i need to have the y axis value equal to 2 so in the end i will get a characteristic like this so slope is 2 then from 1 to 2 so what is happening 1 to 2 the value will remain same as a 1 meaning slope is 0 over here and for 1 to 2 the slope is minus 1 so if I add 0 slope with minus 1 slope in the end I will get slope as minus 1 and finally at t equal to 2 this is having a value 1 and this is having a value 0 so 1 plus 0 will be equal to 1 so i should get t equal to 2 value equal to 1 only but that slope has to be minus 1 so it will be like this So this will be the overall signal I will get if I add x of t and x of minus t from 0 to 2. Let's repeat this for the negative side of a t axis. So once again 0 to minus 1 here slope is 1 here also slope is 1. So in the end the resultant will have the slope 2. So the signal will be like this. And from minus 1 to minus 2, here slope is minus 1, here slope is 0. So in the end, addition of two slopes will be minus 1. And in the end, for t equal to minus 2, this is equal to 0, this is equal to 1. Addition of the values will be 0 plus 1, which will be 1 in the end. So t equal to minus 2, I should get a value equal to 1 with a minus 1 slope. So, we will get a resultant signal like this. So, if I add x of t and x of minus t, we will get this signal. But this is not an even part. I need to divide this signal by 2 to get an even part. So, in the end, the signal that we obtained, we have to just divide by 2. So, I will get a signal like this. So highest value in y axis is 2, if I divide by 2, it will be 1 only. Here we are just changing the y axis value without any change in the t axis so i can say it is an amplitude scaling so there is no effect on the time intervals so it will exist from minus two to two only with the same shape only thing is that we will get this two divided by two so at a one only for one only we will get the sig so we will get the signal like this
and at t equal to 2 signal will have the value 0.5 so it is like this same thing is true for the negativity axis so in the end we will get signal of this sort and this is half x of t plus x of minus t since it is symmetrical about y axis i can say this is a even part of x of t we can find out the odd part shortly So we know odd part of a signal is nothing but half x of t minus x of minus t. Now we need to get x of t minus x of minus t. So time axis is like this. 0, 1 and 2. Similarly, we have minus 1, minus 2. So, signal span is from minus 2 to 2. And now, on vertical axis, we need to get x of t minus x of minus t. So let's consider this as 1 on vertical axis. So let's do it from origin 0 minus 0. So obviously we will have 0. Then from 0 to 1, slope is 1 over here. Here also slope is 1. So subtraction of the slopes will take place resultant into 0 slope. And for t equal to 1, the value over here is 1, here also 1, meaning I should have t equal to 1, value should be 0 only, at the same time slope should also be 0 and that is possible by this line which is just along the t-axis. Value is 0, slope is also 0. Let's go to the interval 1 to 2. 1 to 2 value is 1 and slope is 0 because it's a flat parallel to t axis but for x of minus t slope is drooping or decreasing and if you calculate it is minus 1 so what we can do 0 slope we need to subtract with minus 1 slope so it is 0 minus minus 1 in the end the resultant will be 1. So I should have a line with a slope 1 whose value at t equal to 2 will be 1 minus 0 equal to 1. So slope of 1 and t equal to 2 value should also be 1 which is possible if I have a line like this. So t equal to 2 value will be 1 and slope is also 1. So this we have done for 0 to 2. Same thing we can do for 0 to minus 2. So 0 to minus 1 here slope is 1. Here also slope is 1. So subtraction will take place to get a slope 0. So 0 slope at the same time t equal to minus 1 value is 1. Here also for x of minus t, 
t equal to minus 1 value is 1 so subtraction of the values will take place getting answer 0 0 slope and 0 value in the end will give you line like this now final part minus 1 to minus 2 so x of t minus 1 to minus 2 slope is minus 1 and for x of minus t slope is 0 so minus 1 minus 0 so in the end result on slope will be minus 1 at the same time t equal to minus 2 here value is 0 t equal to minus 2 here value is 1 so if i subtract the values 0 minus 1 will give you minus 1 as the answer so i want to draw a line of a slope minus 1 at the same time at t equal to minus 2 it should reach value equal to minus 1 which is possible by this So I will get this particular shape of the waveform. Hold on, this is not an odd part because we need to divide by 2 to get an odd part of a signal. So we just do the amplitude scaling. So here will be the final waveform. which I can say half bracket x of t minus x of minus t. So 1 will get divided by 2. So I will get over here as a 0.5. Similarly, in the negative axis, minus 0.5. Remember, all the t terminals or elements will remain intact. That means t equal to 0 t equal to 1, t equal to 2, similarly t equal to minus 1 and t equal to minus 2. So you will get like this. And we will get answer. like this if you see properly it is passing through the origin and it is having the negative of the original signal if i consider x of t like this its mirror image is minus of the original signal so i can very well say this is odd part of the signal So now we have odd part of a signal x of t and even part of a x of t and if we add these two signals instant by instant we will get the original signal which is x of t. So what we have seen over here any signal can be represented by its even and odd part where even part is given as half bracket x of t plus x of minus t and odd part half x of t minus x of minus t thank you